Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with another Mixed Media May session, the last one of Mixed Media May, but we're gonna continue sometimes on Mondays to have a Mixed Media Monday. Great idea by one of my subbies. So, um, first of all, I wanna say hi and hugs to Linda, Lori, Dorinda, and Bonnie. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. And so I've been dying to play with this stuff. Um, so this is Stamperia stone paper and paints and some stuff called cream paste. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So there was a um, make and take session at Creativation this last year where they used one of these notebooks and um and they did this stone paper effect on it and so i got a notebook i got some just plain paper too the paints and the cream i got these from disorganized crafter on etsy so i'll put the link to that shop below um so what I got the paper because I thought I have no idea what I'm doing. I maybe should just try it on paper before I do it on the notebook. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to we're going to give this a whirl today. Um, I thought, why not go out on a crazy note of not having any idea what you're doing? Um, yeah, so this was the session that I wanted to go to, and it was literally full. I, I went at about 45 minutes before the session was starting, and it, and it was already full. So, um, this is all in Italian. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. This is special paper made of natural fiber extra strong, does not tear, versatile for all decorations. You can pierce, cut, sew, die cut it, even decorate it with rice paper stencil. Once decorated, it can be cleaned in the washing machine. Wow. Before washing, use mixed media glue to stick papers and decoration. Well, I'm not going to need to do that. Interesting stuff. It's slick. You know, I mean, it's smooth. So... Well, I guess we'll dive in. These are all the colors that kind of came with this. I think that, um, I think I got these in the notebook, maybe in a kit type of thing. Oh, you know what I need that I didn't grab is a, um, is a palette. Just one second. Got it. Just had to grab grab one of my little things so I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff you know the other thing I talk amongst yourselves gonna get some sponges um maybe if I remember where they are okay got them so I don't know I don't know I don't know probably need some baby wipes Okay. Have a paintbrush. I have my little drop sheet. Okay. So the cream paste, I've looked on Stamperia and they used it to like put in a mold uh, that you peeled out. Um, so I don't know if putting it through. Yeah, I'm going to put it through a stencil. I have a Stamperia stencil here, too. This flower one, I thought. Yeah. So, anyways, it's very, it's like, I think, flexible modeling paste, but I'm not sure. So, okay. So, who knows what we're going to get here. All right. I think, how do I do this? Like, do I want to, I think, I think I'm just going to jump in. Oh, this is like really runny for wood and porous surfaces. Huh. Well, I 
I'm just gonna, I don't know. Oh, oh, isn't that interesting? It's like clear kind of. I was thinking of having that show through. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I freely admit it. I have no idea. I'm just going to put put down these colors. I want it to end up looking kind of, um, what would you say, mottled or something. Oh my gosh. This stuff is really interesting. It's like just super runny paint. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens, won't we? And my thought is just to um, to then fold this in half and make a cover out of it. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I should have probably got my um, heat tool too, huh? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was. It was my one sad thing <laughs> at Creativation was I didn't get to do that make and take. I really wanted to, but oh well. I got to do a lot of other really fun stuff there, so. Okay, is all of this like that? Yeah, yeah, it's all really runny. And it's all in a, t oh, nope, oh, there it is. For wood and porous surfaces, water-based, it protects wood surfaces with a decorative finish. After drying, the surface will be opaque and waterproof. The product can be applied with a brush, a sponge, or a spray buffer. And this is just spray. Hmm. Ooh, look. That, that color has separated a bunch. Hmm. Total experiment, guys. So I have no idea what's going to happen with this. I'm thinking I probably want to do the other side too. I am going to grab my heat tool so this goes along a little bit. I mean, I don't know if you have to dry in between coats, but you know. And it's mostly dry already. It's just a few spots, so. Okay. Well, we did that. Okay. I'm gonna try a sponge. I don't know. I'm just going to layer them all up is what I thought I would do. <laughs> you guys, this may be... The biggest disaster ever, but I'm committed to putting up the video. If it's the biggest disaster ever, well, I wasted some money on some supplies here, but. I don't know. <laughs> I could have been like an expert if I could have got into the class, doggone it. Yeah. There was like, I think there were only six spots around the table. Cause you know, each of those booths there is not that big. And so there was like six spots around the table and then it was like four deep. Like literally I couldn't even see over the people to even 
watch and not do, just watch. Couldn't even do that. It was too full of people. So I'm having a play with this and then it's super nice here. And so I am thinking of doing some tub coffee dyeing. And I also need to weed my gardens. Oh my gosh. The dandelions are ginormous. They're bigger than the flowers right now. So I need to get out there and get something done. <laughs> oh, I just don't know about this, guys. But... We're going to go for it. We're going to try it. No fear. Yeah, okay. There's that. It's kind of interesting. It's like puffing up the sponge. That's weird. Okay, so there's that one. That was... Yeah, and then this one's a bit... This is cherry, so this is redder. Hmm. Redder, more red. Has a red tinge to it, is what it does. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't think it matters if it's dry at this point. Maybe not quite as much of this. like it. much yellow is what I feel like. So maybe we just need to do more layers or something. I don't know. I guess we'll I guess we'll see once we put this other spray stuff on there. Okay, so I think what I might try now is spraying this on and then brushing it and then wiping some of it off with a baby wipe. <laughs> Ooh, yes, okay. It's not as dark as what they did at the make and take. But you know what I'm wondering too is I might have different colors here than they worked with. I mean, I had no way of knowing what they were working with, you know. <clears throat> so I have in my head what I saw on the make and take. And yet... This is, this is lighter, although this is cool. I like it. It's 
like soaking in and so it's not giving me the color that I'm thinking that I, I want but Hmm. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? I'm thinking I'll maybe do the other side to finish this off. Okay, I gotta dry this and see what happens. Feels kind of cool. It does feel kind of cool. Huh. This is, it's so different than what I anticipated. And I might want some of those droplets. I don't know, just playing. Now I don't really want to use the heat gun because it'll move that around and I want it to stay into the dots. Sorry if this is making you seasick, but I'm trying to try it. Huh. Okay. Well, interesting. I'm, I'm watching these droplets to see if they then just kind of fade in, but they seem like they're, seem like they're not. So I'm feeling like I kind of want a darker edge on this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this because any sprays that you use, it's a good idea because otherwise they get gummed up. I'm wondering what some just acrylic paint would do around the edges just to frame it out a little. Let me see if I have some brown. Talk amongst. Um, I do have a little bit of brown here. I'm wondering, well, yeah, maybe I'll use a sponge on that just to see. Oh. Yes, yes. Yep. Needed that. Hmm. So it is, it is drying and not, I don't think it's going to sink into the paper. Isn't it fun to just have a 
whole new product that you've never played with before. I really have to credit my my friend Judy for getting me to the point where I could just kind of fearlessly jump in. Um, because before that pesky perfectionism would always get in my way, but that's one really fun thing about mixed media is you know, it's it's no mistakes. It's lots of layers. It's like if you don't like what you get, add another layer. <laughs> and it's just a lot of a lot of fun. So thank you, Judy, for that. Yeah, I like that. Like that better with a little framing. Yep, yep. Yeah, those smaller dots that are starting to dry it does appear that they're going to be um, just making some drop paper fun. <laughs> With the leftover paint. Yeah, and I do think I'll kind of just do the same method on the back. I think we'll be good. I wonder if that's dry enough that I could hit it a little bit. Maybe if I go straight down and don't angle it. Yep. Yeah, I like how those spots are turning out. I just kind of want those to be completely dry before I do the stenciling, you know? Okay. Let's see, I should put that in water. Um, now I'll get out my stencil. So let's see if I can find a name on this stencil for you. I love this stencil. Stamperia, mixed media, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it has a name. It has a number down here. KSTD016, if that helps. I don't know. I think if you um, if you Google Stamperia stencils and then you'll you'll just probably find it. So okay, that's not quite dry right here. Almost okay. I'm really kind of liking. I like how it turned out. It's not what I was expecting, I will say, but it, I like it. Okay, so now I'm nervous, purvis about this because I don't know. I mean that those paints were not what I expected at all. So this is, <laughs> and what I saw when I, um, I. Uh, went ahead and searched Stamperia cream paste on YouTube and there were a couple Stamperia um there were a couple of tutorial type things I think I want this down um there were a couple tutorial things and it was not <laughs> what I expected so let's just see see what we get Ooh, it is creamy. Ooh, yes, it really is creamy. I'm just going to put 
pull off of this a little bit. Okay. Goodness. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Oh, I hope, hope it works. Hope it works like I, I will say this is going to go a long way. It's, you know, it's kind of spreadable. Yeah, it really goes a long way. Wow. husband's out there mowing. Such a nice day. It's supposed to later on in the week get up to 90. Oops. Don't want to hear that, do you? Oops. Okay, this stuff is cool. I love the texture of it. So I'm hoping it ends up being what I anticipated. Oop, got a little thin right there. Let's see if I can't fill that in. I feel like this might take a long time to dry because it's quite um, I don't know not watery but I feel like it's got some good moisture in it okay What we get. Eek. Oh, that's fun. Okay. That is pretty. Okay. So now I kind of want to put this, I'm going to put this up like that. And we're going to do the back of the cover too. Oh, I think it looks super cool. We'll see how it dries and everything. Um, and then after it dries, I think I might try and colorize it a little bit. I'm not quite sure how or with what, but so what I will do is when I finish this, I will definitely show you guys. And um, you know, explain to you what I did. Cause this is gonna take a while to dry. So I think after we get this on, we'll have to be kind of done. Fun. Oops. You move it easily out of the stencil, I'm finding. Oh my gosh, this is cool stuff. I mean, I'm going to have to experiment with this cream paste. If this turns out like it seems like it's going to, I need to experiment with it like on tags and stuff. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put the lid on that. Okay. Oh, 
that's really fun. Isn't that fun? I like how that turned out. And then I'll try and colorize that. But I think, you know, as flexible as the paper is, this cream paste stuff is going to be flexible and move with it. Oh my gosh, I think that's so much fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move this over to dry, and then I need to get some of this off of my stencil. Okay. Gosh, I am just I'm seriously feeling crowded. I don't know why. <laughs> it's no different than usual. Okay, so just kind of gonna wipe this off. My stencil and it seems to seems to be coming off really pretty easily. Let's see, let's get another. Yeah, it wipes right off. It's very nice. So see I'm I'm kind of leaving a bit of this stencil onto my onto my um, drop paper too. Because you know we've played with the drop papers enough that you know that they are a keeper. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, how many minutes are we in? It's just a 30 minute or but I really did want to play with these um, while we did our mixed media. So again, it's the disorganized craft or disorganized crafter. And I will leave her link in the thing below. Um, uh, I could, I could show you a little happy mail. We could just move everything and I could do something else. Let's do that because otherwise this is going to be a shorty. And from what I understand, you guys prefer longer videos. Okay, let's just let's just do this. We'll just kind of pick up our mess a little bit and get on to something else. How about that? Okay, so just going to um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I do have a little happy mail I could show you too. So that would be good. All right. Um, throw that up there. Okay, get rid of the drop paper and we're back to back to normal. Okay. Oh gosh. So this is not, I mean, it's not Happy Mail. This is an order, but dang, she doesn't have the name of her shop on her envelope. It's Judy, and I've showed her before. I'll put her link in the description box, but I just ordered some little tags from her that I thought were cute. So, yeah, so just ordered some tags and a, and a long thingamajiggy. <laughs> So, I, I got those in the mail yesterday. That was fun. And then I got from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop a little thank you that was so kind. And look, she made a little, a little booklet. She made this little booklet. And it's got, it's got pockets, big pockets here. And then a tuck there. And then pages and then the same on the other side isn't that cool and it's um it's fabric so yeah so I thought that was super cute thank you Emily that was so sweet of you Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop you know she has my ever my ever favorite my total favorite um coffee dyed paper so all right guys we have look at this my my project box runneth over 
I need to work on some stuff in there. So let's do it. So I have these. I'm going to make envelopes out of these because these just make such pretty envelopes. So how do I want to go? Guess I need to go that way. I kind of wanted that red flower, but but then they'd be upside down. So we'll just go this way. I think I'll, I think I'll slide it down a bit. Yeah, and then um, then I'll need to sew these. But might as well just kind of get them somewhat on the road. I have some sewing I can can do and I'll show you everything when it's done. How about that? Okay, so that's going to be an envelope and it's going to need to be um, inked, but I'll do that off camera. Ooh, this one's going to be fun. Yes. That's going to be fun with the red poppies. Okay, and this Go oh, down about like that. Make a little bit, make a little bit bigger one. So those two will be envelopes. Need to be inked, ink pile here, and then we'll um, go ahead and look at this. I've done one side, but not the other. I could finish that, I betcha. Let's see. Um, I've got some of this fabric that Frida sent. Gosh, Judy, I'm still kind of racking my brain for the name of your shop and it's not coming to me. You guys have to forgive me. I get a lot of a lot of correspondence, a lot of you know, telling people about shops and so I do get them mixed up sometimes. Nope, I don't think anything there is speaking to me, although this would be cute. Just that on there would be cute. But I don't know. I, I'm still hoarding that. I'm not quite ready to part with it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. So what do we have in here? That would be that would be fun. Uh, ooh, this one might be kind of cool on there. Could put that on there. And what else? Um. I wonder if there's something in my little Tracy book here. I need to redo Tracy. Tracy, you need to be redone. I need to redo all of them, actually. I need to, because look at this. This is not organized. <laughs> this, is, this is a disaster is what this is. It's not good. So all those are labels. But, but yeah, um, here's the thing. I have too much Tracy for this book. Oh, here's some of my, here's some teeny weenies of my receipts. That might be kind of fun on there. It has Helena on it. And then like maybe, maybe a flower or something. Like maybe, um, I don't know if these are the right color, but I'll try it. Oh, yeah, it is. How about one of those? And then that piece will be done and can go in the, the done ephemera spot. Okay. All right. Let's do this thing. I'm looking at my, while we're... I'm looking at my ephemera box. I have so much stuff in there that could be that we could do. It's hard to narrow it down. But okay, well, and um help me remember at the end of this to grab that cover and show you what it looks like because it should be kind it should be dry by or pretty much dry by the time we Finish doing this. Um, finish doing half an hour of playing on ephemera. Okay. 
So watched a great movie on Netflix. At least I really enjoyed it. I, I really like um, old movies. I'm kind of an old movie buff. And um, I think I'll just put that down there. Um, and, you know, like even as a kid, I had books on old movies. Um, I just really enjoy them. And um, so anyway, it's called Trumbo. And the guy that stars in it is the guy from Breaking Bad. And oh my gosh, he did a fabulous job. I kind of think I saw the beginning that he may have been nominated for um, an award for it. But, um, but it's kind of about the... Uh, Hollywood during the McCarthyism, I think it was called, when, um, you know, when people thought other people were, I don't know, that they were communists and they were, um, they were accused of that, rightly or wrongly, and they, they were just like, uh, what do I want to say, blackballed in, um, they were blackballed in Hollywood and stuff. It was it was really good. And I I mean, I kind of remember hearing about that and stuff, but I never really knew. I feel like it needs something else, but I don't know what. Um, maybe a butterfly. <laughs> when all else fails, grab a butterfly. Um anyway. Yeah, it was it was good. He he did a great job acting in it, I thought, and uh was it was very interesting. I don't love this, guys. I'm just going to say that side's fine. It needs something right across there. But a butterfly isn't it, I don't think. And neither was a piece of lace, really. Um, how about a little small label of some sort? Maybe one of Tracy's. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Like, afterwards, I said to Mike, oh my gosh, that was a good movie. Um... I kind of felt like um, it was timely, too, in some ways. Um, kind of the idea that we're... Yeah, that's kind of nice, isn't it? That we're worried about... If somebody thinks differently than we do that, we're, we're worried about it. And um, that's kind of applicable to today, too, I think. But... Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. Okay, I think I'll put that across there and then I think I quit fussing with it because it's just, okay, I probably need to put some glue on that because even though it's sticky, because it's going to be on fabric. But, but yeah. Anyway, good movie. And I really like the actress that was in it, too. She's in a lot of things, but um, I don't know who she is. I don't know her name or anything. Okay, that pulled it together. Yes, okay. Sometimes you just got to keep working at it. <laughs> okay, so that one's done. That goes in the done pile. That's happy. Okay, how are we doing time-wise, guys? I don't want to keep you too long. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to... Give an hour. Oh, good. We have 15 minutes left. Okay. So, I have all my stuff that I did my strain stains by Patty pocket. I have tags. I have like a whole bunch. See, I made a whole bunch of the over the page and belly clip bases. I have some slow stitching I could do something with. I don't know. 
Too many choices is the problem. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll decorate one of, um, one of the wonderful pockets I got from Carrie. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that just for fun. So yeah, um, kind of the end of the end of the mixed media May today. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. Let's um, I have all of these printouts that I've been printing, but let's use some of it. let's use some of these maybe on it in the background. These are from Taylor Made Journals. Her Nouveau Garden. Um, gosh, they're all so pretty, aren't they? Some of that and some book page. and Okay, I think I want... I think I want this. I'm just going to cut it with a scissors because I think I'll put it on the small, um, the back of the pocket type of thing. Let's see how that does, like back here. I guess it goes this way, you know? Actually, I actually feel like I want more of the pink, so I'm just going to cut that off and we'll use that little strip somewhere else. Okay, so I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to cut this where I want it. Ish. Okay. I like for the stitching to be able to show. I mean, you go to all that work of stitching. Kind of want it to show. And that'll that'll do. I'm gonna cut off that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, I've also watched a few bad movies, but <laughs> but that one was really good. I I thoroughly enjoyed that evening of that movie. Um, this is always tough getting it in here. Yeah, that's going to be too long. Is it too long? Maybe I'll try this way. Um, There we go. Got it. Ooh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Okay. So I like some colors that are kind of similar. Look at this, isn't that pretty? Maybe what I'll do is just cut this out and then I'll just, but I'll just use a piece of it. So I think I want some old book page or something too. Okay, we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to go work instead of playing. <laughs> go work in my garden. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I really like this. Let's do that. Don't let me forget to show you that paper. I don't want to do don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. I mean, that's so plain, it could be kind of fun, but I think I'm going to put something there. Let's do a little, a little old book page. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, so now I'm going to get, I think... Now that we're done with mixed media May, I'm going to get busy on all these journals I have that are half done sitting around here. It's just because it kind of causes me, <laughs> causes me angst to... Yeah, it causes me angst to have so many things undone. Go back there. Should have left that on and I could have folded it under. Oh, well. And then I think I might do a little music. And then, oops. I'm going to go ahead and glue the wrong side. Okay. Um, and then just a bit of music. I'm going to look in my, oh, yep, yeah, there's some right there. Just put that there and I'll just uh, turn it over. flip it over. Okay, cool. At least we got the background done. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Did that. I have no idea what to there maybe a bird or something I have a I found a bird book when I was doing my last batch of um of pages and I need to do some fussy cutting because I feel like my I feel like I'm sort of down on birds I feel like yeah my birds aren't great <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. Maybe a butterfly. Maybe like a butterfly that's not super colorful. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Got it. I, I, I the. The Nouveau is out of my realm a bit. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I I want to know how to play with it. But I don't really... You know what? I think I'm going to go label on here. Because I don't know what else to do here. Maybe just a label right there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know... Oh, I don't know. This looks like a little red. Then that covers up that whole flower, though. That's not too bad. Then what if we did like a small butterfly up there? Like a really small one. Mm. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do with this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of my realm here. I mean, uh, that goes best for a, for a label. What if we just put that there and called it good? Kind of like that. The best that I found. Okay. Oh, this is off of a branding strip. I'm just going to put glue on it because... Okay, and then I'm going to grab my paper and show you guys. Well, we finished off a paper clip, got two things ready to sew, and broke into our Art Nouveau, Nouveau or our Nouveau whatever kit. Nouveau Garden Kit. I actually kind of like that. That's fun. Okay. Well, cool. All right. So we did these. Those have to go in the sewing pile. Did this guy. He's all done. And this pocket's all done. So that's awesome. Let me get that paper and show you. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is the paper. And look at this. It's like it's bendy. Like, look, I'm bending it right in the middle there and it's just it's just very bendy hmm so I think I want to colorize these I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do it with watercolors maybe or something so maybe that's what we'll start out with tomorrow maybe tomorrow we'll paint this And maybe in the meantime, I can do the back if I have time today. But I think that's going to be a very cool cover. I'm glad I did the droplets. I really am happy with that. Yeah. And it's just, it feels leathery. It's very cool stuff. Hmm. Yeah, very cool stuff. Something I think I want to try, because the acrylic paint did do really well on the edges, is I want to try another one with acrylic paint rather than the, the kind of see-through stuff. Although I love this effect too. So, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for all of your positive comments about the Mixed Media May. It's been really fun for me and I'm glad it's been fun for you too. And we're going to we're going to do more of it. We'll do more on Mondays. We'll just try and try and um do a few other things. I think though, I pretty well I'm looking here at my at my list of of things that I wanted to that I wanted to cover in my little and um I did pretty well. I didn't I didn't show yeah, I there's still a lot more I want to do. There's still a lot more I want to do. So, we'll get back to it. We will. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. And have a grateful day. See you in the next video. Bye.